Good morning to you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, good morning, Helen. I'm fine. Well, um, what intrigued you yesterday um, listening to the NPP's manifesto and some of the promises that they're making for Ghana sports? Well, I think the only thing that intrigued me was um, the, the support for, you know, at least to prepare very well for the 2028 Olympics that will be coming up in Los Angeles. If it happens, I'll be very much happy because we need to support our athletes, you know. We go, we go just about a few months or a few weeks to prepare for the Olympics. And if we have proper plan and structures to put these athletes in the best of conditions, I think we'd have had, you know, great performance. Just at the recent Olympics, Rosie Ebois was was our best bet for a medal because if you look at the leap she was making 1.97 it was just so good mm. but we couldn't send her coach alongside with her the coach who had virtually been with her throughout her competitions you know she, she she did not have a coach in a very big stage and i think nobody goes to this tournament even Mon, um amando duplantis mm. mondo duplantis the pole voter who has broken his record for for like nine times he sets and he breaks he was there with his coach and when he wanted to attempt the the the, the new record 2.65 he had to go to the coach and tell the coach, no, what should I do? After the first two failed attempts. Mm. So he went to the coach and the coach was like, come on, 6.25, if you want to do it, this is how you want to do it. He failed two times and then the last one he managed to, to do it. All so it's like, of, like going to the farm without your tools. Exactly. Lessons from the coach. And it happened. There's no way the Black Stars will go into a tournament and just the players will go and play. We always have a coach. That's so right. I think it's, it's very much positive. But aside that, nothing intrigues me. It's, it's the same old promises. Mm. Because yeah. you mentioned, of course, the Olympics coming up. And often the critique is that our sole focus appears to yeah. be on football and even with the football mm -hmm. it's really a uh, focus on men's football yeah, to the yeah. detriment of uh, you know the women's football and yeah. so on and so forth did the manifesto for you um maybe chart a path on how we're going to enhance some of the other disciplines so we're not just a, a football focused country and even on that front we have issues well i think th these these are not these are not um do i say um they are just lists of you know promises or words put together but mm. it has no plan to back it if there's a policy we should see we should see plans we should see plans and i'm speaking from this perspective because i i did planning and i see some of the planning professionals in there like i said you can't you, you need to be conscious about what you do and there should be the strategies put in place you cannot tell me you are going to um buy buses for ghana premier league clubs it doesn't happen anywhere what do you need to do the class must be self-sustaining just tell me you are going to put together a policy that is going to make sure that these corporate clubs would be much more attractive for corporate bodies to invest money or inject money in the clubs so the clubs can survive. You get it? You can mm. tell me there is going to be a policy where some of these national um, companies... Remember the olden days when Gapoha and the other teams were... Voradep and others were surviving... It was from, you know, these companies. Right. Ask yourself, as checkers when we used to play hockey, the fire service, the police, all those people had teams because they were investing. Even police ladies, the women's football team, is for the Ghana police service, and they are investing money in it. Mm. That is why they have revamped and they are surviving in the women's Premier League. Just give us policies. But if you come and then it's just a list of promises. You say you are going to build five new stadiums and then, you know, continue building That's the right. AstroTefs. If the AstroTefs are not to the high standard, like what I've seen at the Juventus Academy, where it is so safe, it requires you to water it morning, afternoon, evening. AstroTef. That is an AstroTef. It's not natural grass. So, but it is watered because of the texture or the material that was used. It has about four different layers. If you play on that particular pitch and you play on the, the ones they are making for communities, you just realize there is a huge difference, a big gap. Mm between the astrotypes they are building for the communities and that what we see at Koja Samuels place. And you say you are going to build five new stadiums and what, all that. Go and look at the risk uh, sports resource centers that have been built. Mm. Where are they? It is, it, is, it is covered with weeds. So we should be thinking also about maintenance and going back ex to the structures that already exactly, exist. Exactly. So I think it is more about empowering the, you know, the, the state agencies. 
you get it that national sports authority i just remembered uh just on yesterday i saw something on the socials that the newly built tna stadium mm. the nsa and then the people the local community would definitely have a battle over who is going to own that stadium and take care of it because they don't trust the national sports authority and if your sports authority is not powerful enough all these measures that you want to put in place it won't work Mm. It will never work. And they are just, just like I'm saying, it's just a list of promises. If you are telling me you are going to give a Ghana Premier League team a bus, yes, who is what? going to fool all the bus? What, what, what is that? Who is, going, who is, go- is, is that to whet the appetite who is going of to the fool, team? Who is going John- to fool all the bus? <laughs> Johnny, what is tickling Why you? Not? So they're, what? they're going to purchase the buses for each of these GPL I am, teams. I am sincere. I am mm. sincerely amazed when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I heard some of these, these things. But it's not, it's not comprehensive. It's... But it's all because of how our politics has been reduced mm-hmm. to. It's just promise it gets into the head of the people and they are good to go. They vote and then the next four years. I don't know we'll why come, Mr. We'll come back, we'll come so back in his Because comment. he knows he knows these are <laughs> it's just like you telling me, Kelvin, I am sending you to um uh, I know I know you your money has something else to do. You won't send me. It's the same thing. Helen, let's be sincere. Okay. It's the same thing. Well, <laughs> for the rest of the morning, of course, we will be uh, <laughs> dissecting, slicing and dicing what we do know now of the NPP's manifesto. It appears on the sports front, if you've listened to <coughs> Kelvin this morning, uh, some of these ideas need to be backed by real strategy, planning, yeah. and some so, consistency. So, you know, yesterday yesterday I was having a conversation with one of my, you know, planning teachers from, uh, lecturers from KNUSD. Mm. And... We just went into a research, a small research, and between 2022 and 2023, we invested over $100 million in planting for food and jobs. But why are we still confronted with high importation of food and increasing food prices? Because there is no plan to sustain it. And ask yourself, where, where, where is the planting for food and jobs really happening to the point that we struggle to, to buy, you know, a bunch of bananas? Now, you buy banana 10 cities and you start crying because they are about five fingers. Why? Kelvin Yabutre, I wasn't expecting this this morning, but as I mentioned, we'll be going into the manifesto uh, further. You know, and, uh, you know uh, <laughs> I remember when I listened to the promise to the, the what do you call it, the, the local the local football, you know, playing uh, guys, yeah. the bars and, you know, even to pay their salaries, <laughs> etc. You know where it takes me? It takes me straight to the promise that was made to the church. Mm. I hope Dr. Baumia doesn't come back to say he was only joking. Which promise are you referring to? That they, they would have to start paying pastors and churches for... Oh, I think the team surrounding down. him said that he Slow said down. it in, in well, he, jest. Yes. yes. Did he also say this in jest? Because Kelvin has asked a very important question about planning. That's right. And sustainability, which is missing in, for example, a scheme like NAPCO, mm. planting for food and jobs, rearing for food and jobs, right? Planting for export and rural development, operation clean your frontage, right? That's operation right. clean your lungu, right? All mm. those ones. Right. You see, you have forgotten. I forgot. <laughs> there's, said there's, I said, there's so wow, many of all those of things. Those. Planning is missing and what do you call it sustainability you know is missing and it is because we 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 will say it that people will buy into it they will run to town with it that's it you will i I won't be surprised if you find any of these premier league guys you know who are suffering maybe they get 300 400 ghana cities a month it sometimes even delays into the second week in the month listening to this and they say charlie let's vote they will pay us every month we will get Mm. I mean, so what exactly is the nation going to benefit or derive from you? Because even before you mature to want to come and play in the national team, your, your team managers, they are ready to and willing to sell you. Yeah. Mm. Even before you mature, look at right. it. They want to sell you and trade you off. You become like a commodity, so they want to sell you quickly That's and right. trade you off and make money. Mm. Mind you, the football teams are running a business. <laughs> I'm not against people being supported to run, you know, such enterprises because in the long run, we will benefit as a country. That's right. But then we must decipher and and separate madness in the methodology from what is right. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, what, do we know where we are as a country? No. Do we know what our economic situation is? Mm. The vice president yesterday said that we're in a difficult time. That's right. where, Where we are is not good. Even though he failed to admit what portion of the blame must be given to him and his government. 
we know what our situation is. We have had to postpone paying how much we have borrowed. That's right. And then we are talking about giving freebies to people. Mm. The last time I heard freebies about free water, free electricity, <laughs> we still are paying for it. That's COVID right. levy. Yeah. Yes. We are the only country in this whole world that is paying COVID levy. So what exactly is he talking about? Mm. Who advised him? Is it is it what Asamoah brought onto the table <laughs> as as a consultant on the sports, you know, thing? I mean, let's go to the 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 new regions that we created, right? Right. Yeah. We said we're going to start them off with 20 million cities each, mm. all the regions. So bring uh, Dambuche to the center. Bring the new minister for local government. Bring my own brother, Ekovicin, to the center as deputy minister. And ask them, the 20 million that we gave to Western North, we gave to OT, we gave to Savannah Northeast, Bono, Ahafo, and, and the, all the regions. Bring them to the center and ask them, what has become of those monies? Because those monies were supposed to help them to spice and spruce up their activities and also to bring development closer to the people. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go and check the, the sports um, facility we're trying to build, the Youth Community Resource, Resource Center, Center. Kanishi Sports Complex, where the National Youth Authority's office used to be. Mm -hmm. They have run away from that place. Yeah. Pius Ajide and his people, they have run away from that place. That was where, before they came into power, Ras Mubarak and Otokun, that was where they ran their office from. In fact, even Pius's pre, uh, uh, predecessors, Awuni and the rest, that's where yeah. they run their place from. They have run away from the place. Go and check out their places. Mm. And it has the name of a boxing legend, three-time world champion, Azuma Nelson, slapped on it. In fact, he, he doesn't want that to be the he case. He doesn't want it because how the memories I grew up around the area, the memories that Kanisha Sports Complex had, and if we had a replica of it across, I'm sure it would have dazzled with brilliance at the Olympics. Mm. Kanisha Sports Complex had a place where we played a handball. There was a hockey pitch. There was long tennis. There was table tennis. There was swimming pool, football pitch, track and field. I mean, mention them. Today, go and check. What, is, what has become of that place? Go to Ho. Go and check the resource center. Mm. that has been built. I showed it on Johnny's Bite. It's all weedy. Go around the country. Some of them have even been abandoned midway. So if you are not focusing on all these things, and the first thing you want to come and tell us is that, oh, you will do this, and you construct there, you pay this, and you pay that, you pay that. Where are you going to draw the money from? Mm. When you have told all of us that you're, you, will not, you are going to cancel certain taxes, so where are you going? And you didn't tell us where you're going to draw the revenue from. Mm. So now this is just hot air that we are trying to blow, and unfortunately a lot more people will get into it because yeah you know right. it, it's a tease it's a Absolutely. vibe Absolutely. Well, uh, if you're watching us on Facebook this morning, good morning. You can also check out the stream. We have some of the key highlights as far as tourism, sports, and creative arts is concerned. Uh -huh. This is the Prospective NPP 2024 Manifesto. So build on the year of return. Say prospective. These are the highlights of <laughs> the manifesto. These are the Well, I'm just reading what I see on the screen. Forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Helen, Helen I'll, so, I'll, I'll leave you guys to go and prepare, but sure. let's, let's just look at this. Yes. If you want a policy, why don't you tell me we've seen Tom Vernon, an individual, Put up right to Dream Academy. Mm. Proper plan. He's excelled in Ghana. Mm. He's excelling in Egypt. He started from Ghana and he started making money. Now you look at the Black Stars and the other national teams and most of the players are products from Right to Dream Academy. One individual is getting all these things done and being done right. What stops the nation from copying from him or getting his expertise and telling him, we are going to put up a plan so that we school and nurture some of the best talents that we find on the local scene so that we generate a lot. Look at what Sadio Mani and the rest, the rest of the Generation Fort Academy and Diamba Academy are doing for Senegal. I mean, we talk about how impressive Senegal has been because of the planning, exactly. the consistency, the strategy. Look, England are not reaping benefits in the last, do I say, eight years when it comes to international tournaments just because of anything the government invested properly in juvenile football structures proper planning and now you look at their players across board and they play with quality look at the number of finals they, they right. have been unlucky to win it but look at look at the progression mm. now go back and then look at the black stars even look at the local scene how many players are we even able to just produce from here who are of top quality to even sell for over two million dollars it's not even happening and it's 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 just it's just so sad but 
I just, I just, I just hope something is done about it. You know, it's better having a plan than just a list of these promises. promises. I, don't, I don't think it works for anyone anymore. Mm. Calvin, thank you so much for your time this morning. I know you have to shoot off and go and do some TV. Somebody uh, sent us a message. Said, allow the sportsman to vent. That's absolutely allowed. <laughs> going on a very quick commercial break when we come back there's more right here we're going to be dissecting the NPP's manifesto we'll bring you the key highlights of yesterday's program in Takrade give you a playback of some of the more iconic speeches that happened throughout yesterday don't go too far this is 3FM Sunrise on 3FM 92.7